Hi everyone, so this week's video is going to be a monthly favourites. Today I'm doing my October favourites. Getting on with my October favourites, I'm not going to lie, I don't have a lot to show you. But I do have quite a few things to talk about. <laughs> it is quite random. I'm thinking we'll start off with beauty and then we will get on to the rest of everything. The first thing I have been really liking throughout October um, is actually a sculpting palette and this is the Kate Moss Rimmel London sculpting palette in 03 golden bronze. Now I really like this because both the blusher and the highlighter are both quite highlighty and it just makes my face look really glowy. They, they're the only two that I really use and I love the blush out just because I, I really like the tone I'm not entirely sure what it is but um, the highlight creates an amazing summery glow if you're gonna um, go on holiday I think this would be the perfect thing to take with you because um, it's compact and you've got everything that you need except the contour I don't really use because I find that it's too muddy for me um, and it's just a bit too dark. I don't use this contour. If I was to contour, I would use my absolutely favourite W7 Hollywood Bronze and Glow. I think that's what it's called. Anyway, that is not the only Rimmel London product I actually have in this haul. Because the second thing is a Rimmel London lipstick. And this is the one of the lasting finished lipsticks. And this is in a 77, which is Asia. It's just a very neutral pink shade that's very close to my actual lip colour. And then the last kind of like beauty item is actually a hair product. I have actually been really liking this. Me and my sister both used this um, when we went to Tenerife. Yeah, there's about half of it left. Um, we've both managed to use half of it and it wasn't even that it wasn't even full when we went it was probably like about that I want to say and I haven't actually said what this is but this is VO5 texturizing sea salt spray loose beach waves with texture and grip I love this the only thing I will say about this is be aware that it is quite sticky and you will need to wash your hands after using it if you decide to purchase this at all. And then I am just going to go back into my phone because it's got all my favourites in. I think I've already talked about a book that I loved throughout October and it was the book that I actually read in a week, in less than a week when I went on holiday was this book and this is I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson I read um, her book The Sky is Everywhere a while ago when it was like in when Zoella featured it in her book club and I absolutely loved it I loved her writing style and so then when I found out about this book I was a little bit unsure if I would like it or not, but I read it and I really like it. And it is a New York Times bestseller as well. I just, <laughs> I don't know how to say this, but I absolutely love this book. Even though I felt like it could have been a lot more jumpy but it wasn't um, because it flips between two it flips between a girl and a boy and they're both twins um, Jude is Noah's sister twin sister and they basically just talk about kind of like their experience and how love is only half the story there was actually a really relatable quote in this book and it was what's bad for the heart is good for the art and to be honest I was just like oh my god I yes I need to talk about this book 
at some point and I might as well just read the back of the book because otherwise you're not ever going to find out what it's about unless you go onto Goodreads or Amazon or anything like that. Jude and her twin Noah are close into a drought. I can't even read how loud. I just can't. <laughs> Let's start over again. Jude and her twin Noah are close until a tragedy drives them apart. Now they are barely speaking and both falling for boys they can't have. Love's complicated. And if you're a bit reluctant about reading this book, I highly recommend you just go for it because I was exactly the same and I honestly love this book because... <laughs> okay, yeah, I am a bit clumsy. Um, it doesn't often happen apart from, it only often happens, it only happens when I've really got the camera on. I have quite a few other things to talk about. I don't really have any random favourites just because a week out of October was, in I was in Tenerife so it was a bit difficult. Some TV shows so that I really enjoyed. I actually mentioned in my last favourites video, I'm pretty sure of it, and they were both Saving Lives at Sea and Ambulance. Ambulance actually finished in October um, on like episode 8 and I can't wait for the next series if there is one. And Ambulance is on BBC One and then Saving Lives at Sea is on BBC Two if you wanted to know that. I actually wanted to throw this music favourite in simply because I've had it on, on repeat pretty much all day and it is Better Now by Ethan. I have been singing it as well which is why my voice is a little bit croaky because I've been singing it quite a lot and it is one of those songs where your voice breaks pretty much all the time. Right, moving on to a YouTube favourite. I feel like I never really talk about this YouTuber and I'm not entirely sure why but Alfie Days' vlog channel I'll pretty much watch all the time when I'm not watching when I'm not watching um, Zoella's vlogs I'm probably watching pointless blog vlogs so at favourites that I've been really liking so at favourites that I've been really liking are Clue Clue is actually a period tracker. I have just been loving it. I've been filling it out pretty much every day. There's not really much to say about it. It's a period tracker, um, but it's not just a period tracker. It can track your sleep patterns, your moods, your kind of like mental, your mental states, like if you're unproductive, if you're motivated, unmotivated, calm or stressed. And there are just loads of things, loads of other things that you can track. You can track your vaginal discharge. It's probably gross, but I feel like that is quite important um, to track. And I will leave a link down below so you can download it. And then another app I've been really liking is Inst Life. Now I will put a few screenshots either here or here on the screen so you can see what it's kind of like. Um, but basically what you do is, it's basically an instant life, a random person is generated, either male or female, and then you can do loads of different things. When they turn six, you, you can, they can start studying in their free time, they start going to school, and then when they're like 12, they you can determine their sexual orientation, whether they're heterosexual, bisexual or homosexual you can also decide on university courses that you want that person to do obviously it's all fictional you can also get a job you can buy a house you can have children you can propose you can leave your partner all oh, that was posh wasn't it or you can get married it's life is a sperm. I've been really liking it. My sister actually got me into this app. Um, she told me I had to mention her in this video if I mentioned it in this video, which I'm doing. And yeah, I'm pretty sure I'll do 
a whole separate video on this app because I currently really like it. And then the very last category in this favourites video is food and drink. Some, some sweets that I've been really liking throughout October were the Fox's Glacier Fruits. I like mint sweets, um, but I just sometimes think that you need a fruit sweet and I love the Fox's Glacier Fruit Sweets. Another thing I've actually been really liking for some reason is Fanta or Orange Aid. But something else that I've been really liking throughout October is actually Nutella. Yes. I'm becoming obsessed with Nutella. I like the spread and now I also like and I also like the Nutella Be Ready bar, which I'll prob probably eat after tea. But that is everything for my October favourites video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Also subscribe down below. I will also leave all of my links down below as well, so my blog, Twitter, Facebook. I will see you next week. Thanks for watching. Bye!